Hi everybody, Rob Keys here and I am playing Destiny and for this video I'm going to buy my very first legendary armor. So I'll show you my character very quickly. I actually have an exotic chest plate which I bought from Zur, the agent of the nine, uh, using strange coins but I have not had any luck getting purple armor to fill in any of my other slots. I do have a lot of purple weapons as you can see I got one each here. I got this one. I had a shotgun but I accidentally, uh, <laughs> what do you call it, I accidentally dis dismantled it which was crappy. but. In order to boost your level past 20, you need to get this higher level gear. So, with blue gear, you can only get to 24. You need to have at least one purple or yellow to get to 25. And then I think I need uh, one or two more to get to 26. And then I can participate in that first raid. Um, so the, the way to do that is, if you're not picking it up in loot, and I've had no luck in that. I've had about 15 or 20 purple engrams, legendary engrams. And all I've gotten from those are like motes of light and strange coins and one piece of armor for a different class, the Titan class, which I don't use. Um, so, what you need to do is gain reputation. Of course, by doing bounties and doing strikes, you gain marks and reputation for vanguards. And you can do the same thing for crucible. And if you get high enough crucible rank or uh, vanguard rank, you can actually buy from those merchants. There's two crucible merchants down here in the main area. Uh, and you can also talk to your main vanguard guy. See these two guys right here on the right and left? You can buy armor and weapons using crucible marks there, but those are limited by week. So the easiest thing to do to gain reputation is to choose one of these factions and you can gain reputation with the faction much quicker than you can earn your vanguard rank so as you can see I'm wearing a legendary cloak and I'll show you what this thing says this is called a cloak of the Jesticars and as you can read from the description it says reputation gains applied to new monarchy when equipped so by doing bounties and redeeming them if I am wearing this cloak I will gain reputation for that respective group so in this case I'm gaining new monarchy reputation by doing uh, or completing and handing in my bounties and it's a much quicker way to level up than doing a typical vanguard merchant so now I should have enough mar reputation I'm, I just got level 2 by handing in 2 reputations 2 I'm um, sorry bounties and now I can buy I have access to all his armor this you can buy right off the bat and you need to do that for your class to, to get the thing you need to wear to earn reputation and now that I'm, I'm rank 2, I can buy armor. Once I'm rank 3, I can buy legendary guns. I'm not worried about that. I'm trying to get armor right now because I already showed you my legendary guns. So I only have 140 marks. So the helmet costs 120. Oh, funny enough, the helmet's actually the most expensive one. So I have an exotic chest plate. So what I'm going to do is try to buy these two things since I have enough marks for that. Um, so this one says carry more ammo for pulse rifles. It's got intellect 56, strength 57. This actually has more intellect and strength. Same light though. Same defense. Current and max. So I gotta choose between scout rifle and pulse rifle. Um, I guess this makes more sense just to go with this because it is higher. Purchased. Okay, now I'm gonna choose gloves. So, same thing. So, this is reload speed with auto rifles, which is really good for multiplayer. Increased grenade throw distance. That's also good. Yeah. Uh, slightly lower stats, but auto rifle is important. So, boom. There you go. Finally, I have friggin' two legendary armors. Woohoo! Oh, God. I'm so happy. And my max defense is 202, so my minimum is already better. Oh, look at that. Finally, over a thousand defense. I am so excited. Now I can store these away for when I use a different character. And all I need is a helmet. A uh, legendary or exotic helmet, and I'm done. So I'll, once I start leveling these things up, what does this do? Uh, Scout Rifle we already know about. Oh, so this one needs Helium Fragments, which I actually have a lot of, so that's good. That last upgrade needs Ascendant Shards, though. And what does this have? Spirit Brooms, which I actually have as well. So... I'm going to start working on these. So there you go. Hope you like this video. Uh, take a look at my character again on this screen. The boots actually show up as kind of like a green color. Interesting. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more Destiny videos. Uh, I'm probably going to make a video of the raid once I start that as well. But until next time, cheers.